that time. My brothers and sisters, if you can just carve out seven minutes in your day, give the Lord the glory, I promise you'll see a change. I'm not telling you what that change will be, but that'll be a change. Father God, we come to you right now in the name of your son, Jesus. Thanking you for life, health, and strength being as well as it is. Thanking you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit here to give us guidance and comfort. And Lord, we ask that you allow your Holy Spirit to dwell with us in each of our various state places as we proceed with our kingdom building exercises. We ask that you bless anyone and everyone who call in the name of your son, Jesus. And in all things, it's in Jesus' name we pray and the Holy Ghost is our witness as we give you all the glory for him. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. How you doing today? I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to 7 Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, CL Champion, Pastor of Mount Mary, Missionary Baptist Church down in the blessed city of Sassa, Georgia, where we have uh, in-person worship each second and fourth Sunday. Uh, 10.30 starts our Sunday school. 11.30 starts our praise and worship service. Come and join the flock. Come and help us give God the praise. And watch how he moves in your life. Praise the Lord. This week our topic is, Can You Tarry a While? So tonight is Tuesday, the 28th of March. Yes, this month is almost gone. If you would, join us in your Bibles, the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 36 through 39. This is what we find left on record for all of Christian posterity. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. And he went a little further, and fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. My Lord, the words of Jesus, God's word for God's people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, our subtopic tonight, watch with me. So family, Jesus is asking, can you keep a vigil with me? A lot of people know what vigil is nowadays because of the all the senseless violence that's going on. It seems like every time you turn on the news, there's another catastrophe. Um, and the majority of them, man-made catastrophes, didn't have to happen. And if uh, we would spend more time meditating on Jesus, I'm sure... Uh, the devil would have to find new ways uh, to get us to be so self-destructive. Uh, so, but anyway, with a vigil, you focus on the come and go. And uh, the people will put their efforts into focusing on that come and go. Mm, mm, mm. Glory to your name, God. What if, what if we spent our time, that vigil, uh, our vigil is meditating on Jesus? Mm. The Lord told Joshua, Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper with so thou goest. He said, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou, then thou shalt have great success. Then the Lord says, Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Woo! Hallelujah to your name, God. Watch with me. Can you stop what you're doing right now? Right this minute. 
Meditate on Jesus. Call out to the Father. God, Father God, Jehovah God, guide me. Oh, thou great Jehovah. Whew. Watch with me. The Bible says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Mm. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. Hallelujah, somebody. We got to stop right there. Um, <laughs> this could go much deeper very quickly. Uh, but tonight we're going to stop right there. So praise God right where you are. And watch with me. We're praying to you right now, God, in the, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We're praying, Father, that you would... Teach us how to watch and pray, Lord. Father, be with us. Give us the strength and courage of our convictions and stand on your word. Lord, guide us, O thy great Jehovah, pilgrim through this bar barren land. Lord, we know that you are strong and you have it all in the palm of your hand. So we thank you, Father. We ask that you continue to keep us wrapped in your love and embrace. Keep us safe from the workers of, of iniquity and all forms of hurt harm or danger. We'll forever continue to give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' most holy name and the Holy Ghost is our witness. And all of God's children said amen, amen, and amen. And you know, I grew up in the old church and right about there, one of the other saints would have broke out with amen, amen, oh Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you right now for this day. Woo! In Jesus' name, we pray the Holy Ghost is our witness. Amen. Family, remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Watch with me. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Good night, family. We love you.